Today we're going to talk about labelling and we're going to give you five top tips on what to look out for when you're reading the back of a commercial dog food label. Let's start. Hello and welcome to the Fleetful channel where we empower you to take control of your dog's health. For those of you who have actually seen or used any of the Fleetful products, you know that we are proud of our transparent labelling and we are proud to be a nutrition brand. But do you know what? Some companies aren't as proud and they like to hide some things. So why is it important to know what is in your dog food? Well, imagine going somewhere and just eating something which you didn't know what it was. You didn't know what was in it. You didn't know where it came from, who prepared it or what animal or what vegetable it was. And you just kind of ate it day after day after day. You wouldn't, would you? You'd want to know that the bulk of your me your meals are actually, you know, give you the nutrition that you need to survive and be healthy as a human. Well, this is exactly the same with dogs. Taking control of your dog's diet could mean a long and happy life with less vet, vet visits. I certainly feel healthier when I eat healthy food. It's time that we take control of our dog's health and know that they are eating healthy food too. UK pet food companies must comply with FEDIAF guidelines to make sure that they are providing a balanced, nutritious meal for dogs. This doesn't necessarily mean, though, that the nutrients that the dogs are getting are coming from really nice sources. It could be from quite disgusting sources. So we're going to talk about what the different things on labels mean in this video. So which parts of a label are important to look out for when you're looking at the ingredients? Just the ingredients bit, right? Well, unfortunately not. They always have an, an additive section too, where, you, where companies can also sneak in little nasties like preservatives, uh, colorants, or anything like that. Now, just because of the word additive, it sounds a bit nasty, doesn't it? That not all additives are bad. So it's really important that you look really, really closely and know what you're looking for as well. The most important thing to look out for, especially in the ingredients list now, is anything which doesn't sound specific. So anything with the word derivative, um, animal derivatives, vegetable derivatives, um, byproducts, or when it's unknown plant material, anything like that is a big warning sign because you don't actually know what that is. Now, these things, they could be anything. And because the manufacturer hasn't specified a certain ingredient, it means that it could be anything. So let's take uh, an animal derivative. You don't know what animal that's from and you don't know whether it's offal, bone, feet, eyeball, um, sinew. Um, you also don't know, you know, how, how kind of fresh and, and actually consumable that is. I mean, it, it the meat could be decomposing, it could be cancerous, it's basically a waste byproduct. Um, some of them might be good, but some of them certainly not good. Now with vegetable derivatives, again, you don't know what the vegetable is that's in there. So if your dog's got a sensitive tummy or has sensitivities to something and you're actually really keen to regulate what your dog eats, you're not going to know just because you've got one brand and you're using one brand. If there's a derivative of, of vegetables, then, you know, your dog might have a sensitivity to one vegetable. And because they can group them all into this, you know, word derivative, they can keep changing. They can keep changing what vegetables they put in it. Also, to be able to get derivatives of vegetables as chemical processes used. So it's usually not very nice when you see chemical, you know, vegetable derivatives. Other ingredients to look out for, sugar. And sugar in all of its different forms. So fructose, glucose, anything like that. Just watch out at the back of your packets just for, for anything to do with sugar. Now, there's no need to add sugar. Dogs shouldn't be eating sugar. Um, and, uh, you know, pet food manufacturers, specifically as well, a lot of the prescription diets, they add sugar to make the food much more palatable. So obviously dogs are going to love it, right? And they're going to keep going back for it. 
I'm bad. I'm really bad just the same. Say if I've treated myself to something sugary, I just keep going back. Later on, I feel, oh, I feel all groggy like this. My body feels awful and just craves fresh food afterwards. Also, fussy dogs will go off proper food if you feed them food with sugars. So really, this is a big one. Don't, don't feed any sugars. They can cause all sorts from diabetes to overweight dogs and dental disease as well. Also look out for animal fats. I mean, who knows what animal fat it is? And also it's just not a great source of fat. A small amount of fat is good, but not derived from animal fats generally. And then finally, the real nasties, artificial flavors and colorants. Please, if you see anything like this on the back of the packets of your dog treats or dog food, please give it a big swerve and just also talk about it to other people because these chemicals, who knows what they do. There's been studies which say they have been linked to horrible things like cancer. Um, they certainly do in humans. They're going to do it in, in animals. So yeah, it's a no-no, a huge no-no, not natural at all. And there's absolutely no need. Um, there's loads of brands out there which ha don't have this. So what's important is to look after your dog's health. And basically, if you can recognize an ingredient and understand an ingredient, then it's generally okay. Because pet food manufacturers need to add certain things into the pet food to make it nutritionally complete, there are gonna be some things which maybe you don't understand. But a simple look on the internet will help you understand what those things are. I've used some words today, which, you know, we should be avoiding. So anything with sugar, animal fats, anything which you don't know what it is specifically derived from unknown general sources, uh, anything which is artificial. So all of these things, make sure you avoid them. And that's it. I hope this video has been help helpful. If you'd like to see more content like this, please do let me know. If you have any ideas of other content you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments below. Um, yeah, lovely to see you all. Please like, share and subscribe. I love doing these videos for you. Um, so yeah, take care, give your dog a hug and stay healthy. Bye.